Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. So today we're going to look into the Project Expanse, briefly look at what it's about. Then we're going to get into how to mine it, look into the wallets, miners, mining pools, price, what you can expect to make over a 24 hour period, things of that nature. A little bit about myself. I've been in the cryptocurrency space for nearly two years now. I do a lot of speculative coin mining, comparison between different miners and GPUs, compare profit switching miners in a series that I have called Miner Cup, and I do something called Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. And today is the enter to win video for Bitcoin Fridays. So be sure to watch this video all the way to the end to see how you can win Bitcoin this Friday. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. Now let's get into it. All right, so first off, I apologize for the sound right now. I am doing my first video in my YouTube studio that I built. It's not fully done. Still need to do little things here and there, obviously work on the sound, but I do have the walls up, painted, AC was running today, and I've got my tabletop, so I am able to actually make videos now in the comfort of AC. All right, so with that, let's move into Expanse. We're gonna go ahead and look at the Bitcoin talk here real quick. This project has been on my radar for about a year now, since, at least since I've seen it. It's a good project. I just haven't gotten around to doing a video on it yet. I'm usually doing emerging coins that are just coming out, but every once in a while I'll do these OG coins and here we are doing Expanse. So Expanse was built by a community-based project without an ICO and is a blockchain agnostic. The idea is to use the cutting edge blockchain technology to build anything the community and team can imagine with a self-funded design to keep it truly decentralized. This way, the Expanse community can evolve and grow at a steady and consistent pace. The Expanse platform now has a two-year history of consistent growth and stability. Starting out small, but with big ideas, the team is growing and other projects are now coming on board to help us make the dream a reality. Limited only by the imagination and talent of all the diverse people around the world involved in the journey, each new community member and partner brings new ideas and visions for the future. Expanse Tech plans to be one of the top blockchain projects in the world. Won't you join us in this adventure? Start learning more about Expanse today. So that's Expanse. A little bit about it on Bitcoin Talk at least. This is a Dagger Hashimoto Ethash type coin. So as usual, I will have all the links down below this video. So don't worry about looking for any of this information on your own. I try and get all the information down below so you guys can hop on board and start mining as quickly as you want or go ahead and review the project as well. So here we are on the website. A couple things I highlighted. Why choose Expanse? First and most enduring fork of Ethereum, unique dApps focused on real world use, consistent growth and stability, extensive industry partnerships, three things I liked. Here's a little video, you can go ahead and watch that or if you stick around to the end, you'll be able to watch that and earn bonus entries into Bitcoin Fridays. Details on that here in a moment. So if we scroll down our DApps, decentralized applications, they have vote lock, which is pretty cool. Consider a voting system where results can be verified quickly and accurately with unparalleled transparency yet complete privacy. Vote lock leverages the best of blockchain to provide a secure system for casting and counting votes. We definitely need that with the voter fraud here, at least in the States. Uh, Token Lab, dream it, fund it, mint it, list it. We help at every step from concept to market. So two dApps that they have. So pretty much in a nutshell, that is Expanse. Again, just a brief intro. I'm gonna have all these links down below so you guys can go investigate further. There is a ton more to this project. I'm barely just skipping the surface of this, 
but I'm more here for the brief overview and then let's get into the actual mining. Real quick before we go on guys, have you heard of Expanse and if you have, are you mining or have you mined it in the past? Let me know real quick down below. I'm always interested in your guys' feedback and I like interacting with you as well on that feedback. So real quick before we go on, type yes or no down below if you have heard of Expanse and whether you have mined it or not. Okay, so we are going to need a wallet, obviously, for the miners. So they have their own wallet, obviously. They got Windows, Mac, Linux, and you can look at the source code if you'd like. I downloaded the Windows version because I have a Windows rig. Also, there is Garda that is a multi-coin wallet that supports Expanse. We'll get into that in a second. But for now, download the Windows wallet if you don't want to use Garda. So here is my AMD rig. Here is the actual miner going. So once you go ahead and download this right here, let me pull up the actual folder. I put it in its own folder as I always do called Expanse. So you go into here and you unzip it and then you would scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're going to double click on Luna Wallet and it's going to take you through a setup process very straightforward, easy to do. And once that is done, this is what the wallet will look like. So you'll already have an account created. See, mine's called CryptoFish. Just double click into there. So here's the wallet address. This is what you're going to need for mining. There are more functions you can use with this wallet, but as of right now, we are just concerned with the actual mining address the actual wallet address that we're going to need for mining. So I am on my AMD rig and I am using Phoenix Miner. So let me close this. Phoenix Miner, latest version is 4.6. That's fairly new. 4.5 was a recent one. So you can scroll down a bit right here, click on Mega NZ, and it will take you over to the download page which will load here in a second. So here we are right here, 4.6c. So you just double click on that, download it to your computer or rig, whatever you're using. And here we are right here. I put it in its own folder. So here we are, put it in Phoenix Miner 4.6c-expanse. So you go in here and I created my own run bad file. So only thing you're going to need to change in this is your wallet address, but I am using a mining pool hub, which we will show you in a second. If you don't want to use mining pool hub, you can change the pool right there. Other pools, there are a ton of other pools that you can use. I'm on mining pool hub. It's pretty evenly distributed. We actually, this just changed here a minute ago, probably, probably within a half hour. Dwarf pool was on top and mining pool hub was in second. But either or, they're pretty evenly distributed with two miners coming in third there. But I'm familiar with Mining Pool Hub, so I went ahead and used them. So here we are in Mining Pool Hub. Let me hit refresh. And 0.87 expanse, and I got unconfirmed 0.21. So I got about one expanse right now. If I pull up the miner, going an hour and a half. So in an hour and a half, I got one expanse. And we'll get into whether that's good or not. So anyways, here is your wallet right here. So you would put your wallet address right there and your eWorker. You can just put some um, AMD rig right there or you can just leave the eWorker off. It's up to you. Don't have to actually use the eWorker. But the wallet address will go right in here and the rig identifier, you can leave that blank or you can leave it on. That is totally up to you. Again, you can leave this mining pool here. That's totally up to you as well if you use Mining Pool Hub. If not, change the mining pool. And once you've done all of that, of course, this will be all down below this video. All you can do is copy this information, edit it to your liking, and then you would paste it in a notepad file and click Save As. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to call it run1.bat. Make sure it's a .bat file, otherwise it will not work. So let me go ahead and close it. There's the file we just created, 1.1. One, one. So let me go ahead and stop the miner right now. Quitting. And all you're going to do is double click on that file you just created. 
and it will go ahead and pull it up, see what kind of cards you have, do a little bit of a tuning for the cards, set the DAGs, things of that nature, and you should be off and mining and good to go. All right, so for NVIDIA, we have the Claymore latest version, 15. Again, this link will be down below. If you would like to use Claymore, you can use Claymore on either NVIDIA or AMD GPUs. All right, so that's basically how to mine it. Let's go ahead and look into the price right now. We're sitting at about $0.09, 73% cents, up in the last 24 hours. Nice little spike. Let's see what, what to mine. Should still show it on top. Let me hit refresh. Even though it's not as profitable as Ethereum, but they got it still sitting up here on top. I don't know why. But you should get anywhere, at least I should get anywhere from 13, 14 expanse over the course of a 24 hour period. So yeah, that's the price. And if we kind of zoom in at the end here, you can see that nice little up spike here recently. So that's always good to see up spike in price. But let's go back to all time. And one thing I really liked about this is this has got some serious upside. It's been over nine, almost $10 a coin right now, and it's sitting at nine cents. So tremendous upside if we have another bull run and expanse even does a quarter of what it did previously, goes to maybe two, 250. This is a huge payday if you just fill your bags up right now and you're not looking at or too concerned with mining and selling. So let's head over to Miner Stat. I've already got my info in here. Again, all of these links will be down below so you can figure this info out for yourself. My rig's getting about 117 mega hash at 500 watts, full fee 1% and 0 0.0925 on the cost. So click calculate and it'll give you an estimate. I'm making a whopping five cent profit per day, but of course I'm not mining and selling right now. So I'm not too concerned with that. What I think I'm going to do with Expanse is I'm going to mine it and probably get a couple hundred Expanse and hold it for the long term and hope that the bull market that will eventually come is going to pay off handsomely with this nice bag of Expanse. So one thing I did forget to mention is the Garda wallet. If you did not want to use the actual Expanse wallet, you can use Garda. Again, it's an all-in-one wallet. I will show you it real quick. So let me go down here. Here is the Garda wallet open and you can scroll down right to right here, Expanse. And then there's going to be your wallet address. This is the actual wallet I am currently using for this project through Mining Pool Hub. And if we go over to where we got Expanse right here and click dashboard, it'll show you your mega hash right now and what your earnings last 24 hours, but then you can go over to the actual wallet. So here we are on the wallet page. You would just paste your wallet address right in here, whatever your threshold you want, five, 10, whatever. Put your four digit pin in and update account. Of course, you would have to have a mining pool hub account to do all of this. Or you can, like I said, choose one of these pools that you're comfortable with and go that route. But Mining Pool Hub is for me, so that's what I do, and it's what you would need to do through Mining Pool Hub. So anyways, that is the Garda wallet if we'd like to use that. All right, so let's get into this week's How You Enter for Bitcoin Fridays. Here we are on the website. Go ahead and get a click right here. This link will be down below as well, so don't worry about looking for it. Bitcoin Fridays 9-2019. As you can see, it's already live, got two days, 14 hours left. So you're going to have to answer the question correctly as you do every week. Am I able to shoot videos in my new studio yet? No, that's the wrong answer. There's only one right answer. Wait, you have a studio now? Yep, got a studio now. It's kind of ugly right now, but it works. Or click yes, and that'll give you the right answer. Click I'm not a robot. Fill out your info. Click enter. And then of course you're gonna to have to go and confirm that email address. So I'm gonna go do that real quick and I will be right back. All right, so now I have confirmed my email address. You can share it either through Facebook or tweet it. 
Here's your lucky URL, which you can send out to friends and family, and you'll get two more entries for each person that comes here and confirms their entry into Bitcoin Fridays. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram and get five additional entries each. Follow me on YouTube for 10 additional entries, or you can watch this video all the way through for another 10 entries. So that is the Expanse video. It's about a minute video real quick. It's a no-brainer in earning another 10 entries into Bitcoin Fridays. Just gives you a brief overview of Expanse and it's a pretty decent video if you guys are interested more in their project. So that's it for today's video, guys. If you are interested in any more mining tutorials, there should be a whole list of them popping up here at the end of this video. Be sure to go ahead and check those out and find a coin that you like and start watching that video and see how to mine it. Any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you like I usually do. If you think this video would be helpful to somebody you know, be sure to share it with them. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell. And with that, guys, I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye.